before I see any comments saying you're a bandwagon LeBron James Lakers fan, first off, I swear to goodness this is my dad's jersey. He's a Lakers fan. He just wanted LeBron jersey because he's a Lakers fan. I am a Le Russell Westbrook fan. I'm not a Pacific team fan. I like Russell Westbrook. I don't really like the Wizards, but you know, I pull for Russell Westbrook. So, I'm just wearing the jersey because it just looks good. I'm reviewing Space Jam. Come on, like, I mean, if I had the jersey, why would I not wear it in this review? Like, come on now. Space Jam, A New Legacy, stars LeBron James and Don Cheadle, and is about a rogue artificial intelligence kidnaps the son of famed basketball player LeBron James, who then has to work with Bugs Bunny to win a basketball game. Just want to start off by saying thank you to Warner Brothers and HBO Max for giving me an early screener to this movie. It's very awesome to get this kind of stuff. So, Space Jam 2, it's finally here. Uh, so... I grew up on Looney Tunes back in action. That was my Looney Tunes movie. Now, as a kid, I watched Space Jam. It was a cool movie. I just preferred back in action. But I did grow up with Space Jam. I didn't watch it a whole bunch, but I did watch Space Jam. So going into this movie, I was saying, man, we got LeBron James and Space Jam. We all knew this day was going to happen. When LeBron... 10 years ago, I'm pretty sure they talked about this movie. So for it to finally come out when he's age 36 and his 18th, 19th season, I can't remember. I mean, it's been a long time coming. So starting off with the positives, this movie is going to be a total big nostalgia smiles on everyone's face from the 90s and probably mid 2000s because first things first we get Bugs Bunny back when's the last time we saw Looney Tunes on the big screen so seeing all of our characters come back you get some old faces you get some new faces with different animations stuff like that but overall you get your Looney Tunes and you know what I can't tell you I wasn't smiling seeing Bugs Bunny I cannot tell you I laughed at Donald Duck. I mean, come on. These are some of the most famous cartoon characters in animation history, and we get to see them in 2D at some point. And then, of course, we do get to see live action 3D, which for the most part looks really good. I mean, I can't deny it. It looks really good, colorful for sure. I mean, the whole basketball sequence, it's a long, long sequence, but when that happens, that's all 3D animation. I can't say that the CGI and the animation looked bad. And like I said, as a person who grew up with a lot of these references like that, it made me happy to see it. Like, oh my gosh, there's that, there's that. There's little Easter eggs, a ton of Easter eggs. So I was happy to see certain things, but then you get into more of like Ready Player One, which Ready Player One's a good movie, but that movie relied on nostalgia. Yeah, double that for this movie because this movie offers that and kind of that alone. But before I get to the negatives, I will say this, LeBron James, He's not the greatest actor ever made. I mean, ever made. But, you know, he's a good actor. He's fine. I mean, he fits the role. There were certain scenes I was like, I was like, all right, you're looking at a tennis ball or you're looking at a green screen. There was a few parts. For the most part, though, LeBron James, he made me laugh. He, he had some good dad moments. There was actually a few moments where he cared for his son where he's, like, teaching him lessons and how in life and basketball. And then, of course, you know, he's playing a basketball game to get his son back, and the Loon Tunes are going to get, like, destroyed. So, again, for the most part, I was having fun with this movie, and seeing all the NBA stars, there's a ton of cameos, there's a ton of Easter eggs, a ton of, like, nostalgia jokes from, like, 90s and 2000s, and then, of course, when we get into more of, like, the basketball game, it, the movie just goes insane with nostalgia, and that's where it all leads to my big, big criticism. The movie has no two feet. This movie cannot really be its own thing it is a nostalgia movie like space jam it came out in the 90s it was michael jordan's like big time six time bulls champion like this is the prime michael jordan so for this to come out in the end of lebron's career and then it make jokes and references to the original one and like other stuff in media like i mean there's a ton of jokes that are going to work for this time period but in five years, this movie is going to be like, some people are going to be like, what does that joke mean? Because it's so reliant on nostalgia and things happening right now. The original Space Jam really didn't do that. This one does. And it does it way too much. And like I said, I was enjoying the movie. I was having fun. 
kids are really going to enjoy this movie. I mean, you have LeBron James, who is the biggest NBA star in like the world right now. So for him to lead this movie, it was the perfect casting for him to do that. You get great animation. You get great 2D animation. I loved all the 2D animation we get. The movie made me laugh. It made me smile. It's a good, warm-hearted movie, but man, oh man, some people are going to trash on this movie, and I get it, honestly. But again, I had fun with it. It relies too much on just nostalgia and all that kind of stuff. Oh, and minor, minor note, Zendaya's Lola Bunny. No, I'm sorry. When I heard her voice in the trailer and I saw in the movie, I was like, I don't hear Lola Bunny. I hear Zendaya. I love Zendaya, but sorry. She's too big of a person to be in this role. Besides that, go watch Space Jam on HBO Max on July 16th or in theaters if you want to. It's a fun time for kids, but it's going to rely on nostalgia for all the adults. And I will give Space Jam a new legacy a C. So I actually do have a question for you guys. Leave a comment down below and let me know. Did you grow up with Looney Tunes? Are you excited for this movie? Are you going to go see it in the theaters or HBO Max? I really want to know. I hope you guys enjoyed this earlier movie review, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.